Hi Capricorns, this is your May 2018 love and relationship reading. Now before I get into your message cards, um, Capricorns, let me just start by saying I feel like some of you are learning a karmic lesson the hard way this month. Either you're dealing with someone who you felt was a soulmate and they walked away, okay? Or you totally screwed up a secure, stable situation with someone to deal with someone else and it just didn't work out the way you expected and now you're licking your wounds and it's like everything in your love life is a big mess okay so you're trying to bury yourself i'm feeling like some of you are trying to bury yourself in your work and forget about anything that has happened but it's going to be really hard to do capricorns per the soulmate card that i have here in the reverse okay um you know and you have deception so I'm feeling like some of you found out someone was being fake as hell and everything they told you was BS. It's like they were already with someone. They tried to act like they weren't and you found out about it. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling like this month. Just going through, um, you know, your tar the tarot cards that I pulled and the message cards. So the first message card that you have is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life because I'm feeling like this entire situation that you've been going through has taken control over your life. And it's like um, you may even be feeling sad and depressed right now about the situation because you feel deceived. Okay, because the next card that I have for you is the soulmate card and it's in the reverse so however the how when i shuffle these cards however they come out um this is how i place them now and the soulmate card came out in the reverse and that's just saying a lot about your reading that you know someone was being fake it's like you may have thought that you and this person had like a real connection or you were going to hit it off like really well and you guys were going to go the distance and i'm feeling like it didn't work out like that for you okay i feel like somebody may have turned their back um, when you or you may have found out that they were dealing with someone else and they weren't being truthful Yeah, see because the next card that I have for you is deception Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It's like they really were but i'm feeling like you're just now finding out about it capricorns and this really has you pissed off um with this person and the next card that you have is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I'm feeling like your eyes are open to this person now. So anything that they tried to do before or get away with, it's like they're not going to be able to get away with it because you know what they're about now. Okay. All right. So those were your message cards. So let me just put these over here and let's just get into your reading. Now you did have two jumping cards this month. Okay. And the two jumping cards you had was the temperance and the five of cups in the reverse so some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius okay because that is the temperance card um, or some of you could be dealing with a water sign Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio per the five of cups in reverse now with this temperance card I'm feeling like you're trying to bring a balance back to your life I'm just feeling like you're feeling like really off kilter right now because of something that happened it could be money related for some of you but I'm feeling like for others it's love related okay because the five of cups is here and it's in the reverse so it symbolizes that you know you were feeling regretful you were mourning something or feeling sad and depressed about something but you are trying to come out of it because the five of cups is here and it's in the reverse okay all right so let's just get into your reading and let's see what else we have for you now the next card that i have for you is the eight of swords okay so like um you could be dealing with an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius this card is all about restrictions something not going your way capricorns feeling helpless and vulnerable when it comes to a situation you may be feeling like you can't get over someone or get past something but the restriction that you're feeling is self-imposed you can free yourself from this situation if you want to there's nothing holding you here um, or holding you with them okay that's what i see here yeah and then the next card that you have is the eight of pentacles so i'm feeling like some of you are just really like throwing yourself into your work now it's like you don't care about love right now you don't want to hear anything about love because um you feel like you were deceived by someone is what i'm getting here okay yeah because the next card that you have is the strength card so i mean you know you could be dealing with the leo okay because the strength card symbolizes leo's or, you know, you could just be needing the courage to get over something that has you down. You know, something that has you feeling like you're not yourself. It's like this card is telling you that you have the strength to get over whatever it is that's bothering you. And you can 
move on from this situation. Like you're going to have to move on from it. And I'm just feeling like, you know, this is not your MO. Normally you screen people out Capricorns and, you know, you get to the bottom of someone really quickly. And if they're not true and if they're fake, you don't deal with them. But I'm feeling like you were fooled by this person. It's like they either told you something Sorry about that. I'm messing these cards up. They either told you something and you found out something different or it's like you saw something and they don't even know you saw this or you found out something and they don't even know it. And it's like they're still carrying on this lie and they don't even know that you really found out like what's going on here. Okay, so the next card that I have for you is the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in the reverse. Some of you were giving too much time, energy, and love to a partner and getting nothing in return. And things did not go as planned, okay, per the Two of Cups um, in the reverse. So some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, okay? And the next card that I have for you is the Three of Cups. So I'm feeling like you found yourself in a third-party situation, some of you, not all, Okay, because this is a general reading, so it may not apply to each and every Capricorn. But I'm feeling like some of you found yourself involved in a third party situation that you had no knowledge of. And for those of you that knew about the third party, it's like you thought the person was going to choose you. And I'm feeling like they didn't. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because the next card that I have for you is the Moon card and the Five of Pentacles. So when you pair the moon card and the five of pentacles there was a lot of secrets going on here and i'm feeling like some of you found something out and now you're feeling left out in the cold per this five of pentacles okay um you could have been dealing with the pisces per this moon card here but it doesn't have to be um you know but if not it's like there was a lot being hidden from you and now you see this person, like I'm saying, like, you know, with the message card, it's like now you're really seeing this person for who they are. And you're like kicking yourself, like, why did I even deal with them? I'm feeling like you may have put a lot into someone, like, too soon. And then you found out that it was a bad decision. Okay. But your eyes are wide open to who they really are. Okay. And I'm feeling like this person may float in and out of your life it's like you know they may want to be with you one day and then the next day you know they're not even texting you or they're not even calling you is what i see here and the next card that i have for you well the next two cards is the three of swords and you have the nine of swords in the reverse okay so something has you really sad and in, in your feelings but it looks like you're trying to come out of it because the nine of swords is in the reverse so whatever had you down and sad you will be coming out of it this month okay because the next two cards I have is the Queen of Wands and I'm sorry about that. The next card I have is the Queen of Wands and she's in the reverse. And then I have the Page of Swords. So I'm feeling like whoever this person is, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some of you could have had an online, um, online fling with someone or an online relationship or something because... This page of swords is is like a messages. It's all about like finding out something or seeing something for yourself or someone telling you something. And if you look at the page of swords like really closely, you see the moon being hidden here. Sorry about that. You see the moon being hidden here by um this lantern. So I'm feeling like some light was shed it on something having to do with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius um sun moon horizon okay but whatever it was you feel crazy because you're feeling like okay i can't believe that this person lied to me and i didn't see it okay and you have the hierophant here and it's in the reversal some of you could be dealing with the taurus but if not it's like you're learning a hard lesson this month and when you have the hierophant in the upright it's all about teachings and um traditions and carrying on something from one family to another but you have it in the reverse okay so whenever you have the higher in the reverse it's about learning a lesson and it may involve a family situation maybe somebody slept stepped away from their family and they thought you know they were like willing to risk it all with somebody and then they realized that it was a bad idea i don't know because you had the higher here in the reverse 
okay um so the next card that i have for you is the ace of cups and also i have the queen of swords in the reverse so with this ace of cups um in the reverse and with this queen of swords i'm feeling like you know there's going to be a delay and working something out with someone for those of you who are trying to work out a relationship or trying to get back with someone um you know the queen of swords is here and she's in the reverse okay so you could be dealing with an air sign libra gemini aquarius and you're trying to make things work with this person and whenever the queen of swords is in the reverse it's like she's being really cold unemotional and she's just not um she's just not talking or she's not saying anything or she's like keeping her feelings to herself so some of you could be dealing with that type of situation um this month and the next card that i have for you is the lovers in reverse yeah see with this lovers being in reverse and then the next card being the two of swords it's like you're needing to choose between two people so some of you could be stuck on two people capricorns okay because you have a lover's card in the reverse which is all about choosing between two people. And then you have the two of swords, which is also choices that need to be made, but you're not seeing things for what they are. Somebody is wearing a blindfold and you need to see the bigger picture here. And I'm feeling like you're not seeing it. Okay. And then the next card that you have is a tower card. So some of you went through something this month, something chaotic, something destructive may have, um, broke up your family or broke up a long-term relationship and i'm feeling like you're trying to get someone back or trying to get back with someone and you know you're just not seeing things for what they really are but you know you do have the chariot card here okay so the chariot card symbolizes forward movement it is the cancer card so some of you could be dealing with the cancer Okay, so even though you can't see things right now for what they are, I'm feeling like things will be made clear to you um, by the end of the month, Capricorns, if that makes any sense. Because I'm just feeling like some of you are stuck possibly in a third party situation and you're just trying to choose between two people and you can't seem to make the right choice. But with the chariot card um, being here, I'm feeling like... You know, there's going to be some type of forward movement. So you are going to make a choice here. And then the next card you have is a Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is all about family. So maybe some of you stepped away from your family um, to deal with someone. And now you're having to choose between two people. But I'm feeling like, you know, you're going to pick your family over this other person. Capricorns. Yeah, see, the next card you have is a seven of pentacles. So some of you are no longer willing to put the work in with someone. And it could be someone from your past because we have the six of cups here and it is in the reverse. Okay. Could be a water sign from your past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And with the seven of pentacles, I'm feeling like this is your energy. You could be dealing with another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But I'm just feeling like this is your energy. And it's like, it's in the reverse. So you're no longer willing to put in... Um, let me just fix my camera. You're no longer willing to put in the work with this situation because I'm feeling like you may be feeling like it's going nowhere. That's why it's in the reverse. Okay. And some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. I don't know. This is the Gemini card, but I don't, I'm just feeling like this is someone from your past for some of you and you know, things didn't go the way you expected. And with this seven of pentacles, you're no longer willing to like, you, you just don't see the logic in it anymore. And it's like, when it comes to Capricorns, they're all about practicality, stability, you know, that some, things have to make sense to them because if they don't, they won't do it. And I'm feeling like whatever this is, it doesn't make sense to you anymore. And you do have the Ten of Cups here, which is the family card. So I'm feeling like, you know, you're going to be making a choice and some of you may be choosing your family because you have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse and then you have the King of Pentacles, which is also your energy. Okay, so you were really emotional about a situation, okay, um, and you're not really an emotional sign, okay, Capricorns are not, like, they if they get in the, into their emotions and it has to be something, like, really deep that's going on with them, and I'm feeling like, you know, you were emotional about the situation, but you're trying to come out of it because you do have the Queen of Cups here, or this, you could have been dealing with you know, the Queen of Cups, cancer pisces or scorpio but whatever the situation i'm feeling like you're you're coming out of that okay and you're getting back to your practical stable self which is the king of pentacles who is all about 
um, you know, money and working and working hard and working long hours and just putting their all into something that's going to bring them um, resources, okay? And you're no longer worrying about the situation that had you um, in your feelings, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you this month, Capricorn. I just want to say thank you for, to everyone who ordered a private reading for me. Also, I want to let you know that I am now on Instant Go. So if you want to reach out to me there, um, if you have a question that you want answered, you can text me on Instant Go and I'll answer your question. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.